Hey everybody. This is my 125 gallon pseudo native tank and I'm going to apologize in advance for the shaky video but I'm not going to stabilize this video uh, namely because of all the bubbles that are in the water. It makes the uh, video stabilization very difficult. But that is what I actually want to talk about. Someone asked me the other day about the micro bubbles in the tank and what kind of bubbler or bubble head I use to achieve that and I wanted to just show it off really quickly because it's not actually a bubble head per se. What I have is a normal air stone and I just have it bubbling up into my Coralia high door 1500 gallon per hour power head and when those bubbles hit that impeller you can see what it does to them. Now I normally don't like it that much. I like it so that just a few bubbles get caught in it and it sort of gives me a little bit more of micro bubbles diffusing into the tank. I really don't like the snowstorm effect that I've got going on right now. But every time I try to move the bubble head, you can even see it's under that big rock. Either the tilapia we were just looking at gets in there and digs all the gravel out of the way, or one of the crayfish will get in there and actually move that stuff around, uh, burrowing around in the corner. And I'll wind up getting big bubbles hitting that impeller and then boom I got these tiny tiny little micro bubbles all through the tank so if you're looking for that just put one of these power heads in the tank I have these power heads in several of my tanks I really recommend them again I'll put a link below uh, if you're interested in looking at them and you can get any size from like 240 gallons per hour which sounds larger than it really is it's a really small power head it does not seem to move a lot of water and then they go all the way up to big ones, 3,500 gallons per hour or something. So this one's a 1,500 gallon per hour, and you get a pretty good idea of what it does to those bubbles when it hits that. And it's pretty much spreads them all the way down the length of the tank. That thing really moves some water around this tank. You can see all the way down here how much current and water flow we've still got from that one power head. They run forever, they're silent, They've got vibration dampers in them when they stick to the glass so they don't vibrate or make any kind of humming noise. They're awesome. So again, there'll be a link below if you're interested in checking them out. But that's how I get all those tiny little micro bubbles in my tank. All right, everybody, make sure you're subscribed. That way you won't miss anything I got coming up. Don't forget this one is my native tank. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you real soon in the next one.